Hello everyone, Poke here, bringing y'all another anime video and a Tokyo Avengers theory. It's been a while since I talked about Tokyo Avengers, as it's my favorite series of all time, yet it's been a while since I've talked about it. This is a continuation to my other Baji theory that I recommend checking out, as it covers what happens during both the Valhalla arc and Black Dragons, and I think it's important to watch that as there will be some stuff from it that will make any sense without the context. So yeah, this video will go in detail about Baji's involvement in the Tenjuku arc if he were to live, and just that arc because of how long it is compared to any of the arcs of Tokyo Avengers. I'll try my best not to retcon anything that makes it where other arcs won't be possible, so unfortunately some deaths will still happen. As always, this contains spoilers for the Tokyo Revengers manga, so please go and read it. The chapters look long in quantity, but the quality of the chapters are just as high, and you'll definitely enjoy reading it. Without further ado, let's start the theory. Everything is normal until it gets to when Takemichi runs into his first encounter with Tenjuku. Chufu will get beaten, but Baji will come out of nowhere and beat up the rest of Tenjuku. I still think Baji would have trouble fighting Mochi, even worse while trying to protect Chifu. So Mochi brings both of them. Angry and Smiley actually get worried about Baji's condition, but he says that he's fine until he collapses. Chifu holds on to Baji as he's passed out while red, while riding with Angry, but the explanation still happens. After Smiley and Angry go and get info from Tenjuku members. Takemichi tells Chifuyo how he thinks Kisaki is a time leaper, but Baji overhears all of this and now knows that Takemichi can time leap. Baji believes Takemichi has his power, as the events of the Valhalla arc has bugged him for a while. He plans to help out Takemichi with his mission, but Baji lightly slaps him, telling him that although he wants to help take down Kisaki, they need to worry about Tenjuku first. At the Tomon meeting, everyone meets up as usual. But Baji gives a report and Mikey seems more furious that Baji was in danger. He actually gets mad at Chifu, but Takemichi defends him. They all decide to fight Tenjuku except Takemichi, Mikey, and Chifu. Baji tells Takemichi to go back to the future to get more information as he believes Takemichi will find his answer in the future. Everything stays the same from Kisaki still being alive and Shu Naoto to visiting Mikey and getting the information about Izuna, all the way up until Takemichi meets up with Chifu. Baji is with Chifu this time and tells Takemichi how he knew that Chinuchiro was the founder of the Black Dragons but didn't know who I Izuna was or why he has a grudge against Mikey. Takemichi tells both of them that he's gonna fight with Baji listening. He argues with Takemichi but has a calm tone to his voice. He explains how he left his first division to Takemichi so he can lead with everyone making sure no one is left behind as he saw Shinichiro in him. That the sibling rivalry was what led him to create Toman and why they're all here. Trifuyu tells Takemichi that he called Mizo mid because he also believes that they can work together as a team and win. Muto and Sanzu still come and meet with them, however. Baji almost explains to Takemichi what position Muto has in Toman, but Muto interrupts them by attacking Takemichi first. Baji is furious and almost fights him, but Chifu holds him back as Baji could be removed from Toman due to his past actions and be classified as a traitor. Everything stays as it was all the way until everyone in the first division is there with Mikey and Baji. As Hakai is in a fit of rage, he mentions Baji betraying Toman to stop Kisaki just for him to join another gang once he gets kicked out. Baji is pissed at what Hakai says. Mikey tells Takemichi to help everyone, especially Baji, and to make sure no one dies. He emphasizes to protect them. Mikey is at a point where the idea of keeping someone close to him safe is embedded into his mind. As everyone is at Chinachito's grave, Emma's speech is the same, just without the mention of Baji. Emma, however, still gets attacked by Kisaki. As Takemichi thinks to himself about his past missions, he mentions how he was able to save Baji and become the first division captain. After Emma's death, when Kisaki is talking to Izuna, as he mentions the events of the Valhalla arc, 
He mentions how, despite having the plan to have Kazutora kill Baji, it was stopped by Takemichi. At the aftermath of Emma's death, Draken still punches Mikey in a fit of anger, but when he mentions about Baji, it's about him getting injured for Mikey's sake. In the first page of chapter 151, as Aku mentions how Mikey isn't here, Chief Yu can't get into contact with neither Takemichi or Baji. As Takemichi tries to comfort Mikey, Baji shows up next to Takemichi, telling him to go and he'll handle Mikey. As Takemichi leaves the hospital, Takemichi tells Chief Yu how Baji is inside and how he'll be there for Mikey for and for them to go. As everyone is hyped for the Tenjuku battle, Takemichi only mentions Emma's name to Chief Yu, not Baji. The Tenjuku battle happens as it does. At chapter 166, Takemichi remembers everyone, but not Baji of course since he doesn't die in this timeline. And so, when Chief Yu talks about Baji to Takemichi, he says instead how he can't forgive Kisaki for putting Baji in that kind of pain. Now that Mikey arrived, everyone that was in the hospital, even Baji, comes. Baji was actually able to calm down Mikey, convince him to go to the fight, and although he wanted to tell Mikey about Takemichi's time leave ability, Hina shows up and does the scene that actually happens in the manga. Baji interrupts Hina and Takemichi by saying how he wanted to tell Mikey but Hina came in and even surprised them. Draken and Mikey both agree that Baji should deal with the rest when Mikey and Draken handling the rest. Baji destroys around almost 100 guys and Draken and the rest fight the remaining members without a sweat while White while Mikey is dealing with Izuna. Draken tells Takemichi that Mikey is going all out and Baji adds to Draken's statement by saying how throughout the years with sparring with Mikey, he's never seen the side of him. Everything stays the same until Takemichi has Kisaki at gunpoint with Hina and Baji coming along. Baji sees this and gets mad at Takemichi as he thought he'd be someone different and not like Kisaki. Takemichi puts his gun down and everything happens as it was, like Kisaki dying and everything. And they all get their presumed happy ending, except Mikey. Unfortunately, as he is still saddened by both the deaths of Emma and Izuna. Thank you to anyone who does watch this video. And I just want to apologize for not uploading last week, as I kind of ran into some technical issues, as I was planning to released the video on Saturday, but then I got lazy. And so I finished it on a Sunday, but then um, I was planning to upload it on Monday, but then that's when the technical issues happened and uh, I lost the entire clips for the video, but not the audio clip. So if I do end up in around a similar situation, I will just try to work on that video again and release it. But yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. And back to the Baji video. Uh, if anyone has questions or want to point out some mistakes that I might have made in my theory, please comment down below and tell me them. And also, if you want to see a part 3 aka the Bolton arc, get this video to like 20 likes as I'd very much appreciate that because... Um, there's a lot of stuff that happens in that arc, so it would kind of, it's kind of hard to go in depth on how to involve a character that died like three arcs ago to be a part of this one. And yeah. Anyways, um, y'all know the rest. Like, subscribe, comment, and follow all my social medias. And yeah. Goodbye, everyone.